people are generally very interested in prophecy. Yeah, prophecy that they can believe. Because who doesn't want to know what is going to happen in future before it happens? But most people ignore what goes hand in hand with prophecy. Something that is difficult to separate from prophecy. And that is seasons. In fact, if you know what season you are in, predicting what is going to happen becomes very easy. And it also becomes extremely easy to sift between false prophecy and prophecy that is true, accurate. For example, if you know it is the rainy season, then it is extremely easy to predict that such and such a road will be impossible for vehicles to pass next week. Why? Because this is the rainy season. Now, prophetically, we also have seasons that are not regular. For instance, in the natural, the rainy season is regular. Yeah, we expect a rainy season. After that, a dry season in Africa. And then we expect the rainy season to come back again in a certain month. That is regular, like clockwork. And then we have other seasons that are irregular. For example, a man called Joseph in the Holy Scriptures was able to interpret a dream about two seasons, a season of plenty and a season of famine. And because he knew there was a season of famine coming, he was able to help the country called Egypt to prepare so that in the seven years, the season of plenty, they were able to gather and store food in large quantities, which took them through comfortably, took them through the seven years of famine, so much so that they were able to sell food to others. Who did not have that knowledge, that information in advance, and therefore did not prepare? Fortunately, it is also possible in some instances yeah, to realize late yeah, that a certain season is coming and therefore start preparing late for that season and still make it. The key phrase here is that you prepared. Yeah, maybe the preparation is not adequate because you started late, but at least you prepared and therefore you're much better than the person who did not make any preparations. Now, most people are in agreement of the kind of season we are in right now. Most people are very much aware. One piece of evidence that people are very much aware is the fact that prophecy messages, prophecy videos are very popular just now. Some people want to confirm what they don't want to believe. Others are looking for details, yeah, detailed prophecy, so that they can micromanage their way through the season. But in my view, that is a mistake. Why? Because what people should actually be very busy doing is preparing. Preparing for what is coming in this season we have entered. And let us just hope and pray that it is very early in the season. Because the earlier in the season it is, the better prepared we are going to be later on this season. But rather than get into arguments and technicalities of how early exactly in the season we are in, one should not waste a single second they should get down to business right away and start preparing and doing so at high speed. Sadly, we have many of us who instead of preparing are praying and hoping that life will go back to what is normal to them. Yeah, will go back to what it was 
before this season started. It is like the rainy season starting and then you start praying and hoping for the dry season to return. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It is not even wise, in my view, to get involved in controversial biblical prophecies yeah, in an effort to prove that one school of thought is correct and the other one is wrong. I'll give you the perfect example. Rapture and tribulation. There are those who believe that the rapture will take place before the days of tribulations yeah, as predicted and prophesied in the Bible start. And there are those who believe that the rapture will happen only after the tribulations have started. Now surely your time will be much better spent, much more productive, if you focus on being prepared so that if the rapture takes place before the tribulations, you're ready. If it takes place after the tribulations, you're ready. That is, you're ready as soon as possible. You should be ready now. You should be preoccupied with being ready now. Yeah, rather than in arguing whether it will take place after or before the tribulations. So how do you prepare? You prepare by getting closer, as close as possible, to the one who will engineer the rapture. More so because you can no longer rely on men of God. You can no longer rely on spiritual leaders. Why? Because we know that this season is also the season of deception. And the only way you will not be fooled is if your direct line to Almighty God is fully functional, working extremely well at maximum effectiveness. That's the only way. We also know that we need to prepare for something else very exciting. Yeah, and that is the end time revival. The end time great revival. If you want to be safe, those are the things you should be very, very busy with right now. Knowing fully well that time is not on your side. It is my hope and prayer that that fully answers the burning questions in the hearts and minds of many, which is, where precisely are we prophetically? Where precisely are we in the prophetic timeline? And while it may be true that there are many things which have not happened, which are supposed to happen before we reach where we seem to be hurtling very fast towards. And that is the mark of the beast. Yes, many have said it's like somebody is trying to speed up, make leaps yeah, in the prophetic timeline yeah, and quickly take us to a certain place before the time for that place has arrived. Even if that is true, surely it is not as important as being prepared. It is not anywhere near as important as making preparations for what will surely come. Until next time, this is Chris Kumekuja.